From 1962 to 1987, um, the first seven sold uh, reincarnations occurred, which split into 14 halves. From then, there has been other reincarnations occurring, because obviously it's based around their free will. They're allowed to choose to reincarnate or not. The object of the first seven who reincarnated, though, was different. The object of the first seven was to actually come to teach uh, the truths that they've experienced on Earth again. And so, and to correct many of the misunderstandings and so forth that are on Earth about, you know, what the truths are meant to be, sort of thing. There were, there's a lot involved in God's plan in this. So once you get to the state of the 22nd sphere, you could, li you could liken yourself to being a person who has this, this really, really strong, direct connection with God. You, you, talk, you speak to God and hear God and so forth directly as a complete soul unit. You, you will do that before then as a half of the soul, but it's a totally different experience doing it as a complete soul. And once you're in that state, you also can see what God's plans are. God tells you her plans um, as if you were hearing them, right? Uh, as if you would be hearing me speak. And so there was a combination of God's plans and what our desires were mixed together that created our desire to reincarnate. Now, we knew about it in the 40s. <laughs> There's a spirit actually influencing him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's got something to say. Um, so when, the, when, the, um, when, re when we knew that reincarnation was a, definite, was a definite thing that could occur, um, we, we still made, made the progression into the soul spheres to the 22nd sphere, into that soul union state. Once we're in the soul union state, um, we helped other souls, so, so myself and Mary was the first, were the first soul into that soul union state. And then we helped other people get to that state as well over a period of time. And so we stayed in that state for an earth time, which is totally different to what's there, of course, uh, for a period of time, 20 or so years. And then once we knew that the others would find their way to the soul union state, for certain, then there was a choice of me reincarnating first. So, so that was the process that occurred. And in terms of the choice, the choice was based around my own love of people on Earth and, and in the spirit world. And, and when I say my own, I mean our soul, both Mary and myself together as one soul, our own, our own choice. And then um, once that choice was made, um, then, and we also had, you know, new God's plan, if you like, uh, in that state. Uh, new God's plan as to what God wanted to accomplish. So, and it all occurred in a way where the earth was also ready. There were many other times where that we'd communicated with people on earth before then, and where we felt that that would be all we could do. But um, we didn't understand God's own plan at that point. So, see. God's plan is something you discover, just like everything else. So, so it just depends on your desire to discover as to what you discover. And so once you get to the 22nd sphere, you find a lot about, about God's plans generally and universally. Um, and, and can put m many more things than you can put here into action very powerfully, unless you're in this soul in a state, which you can be here on earth as well. And we wanted to demonstrate the fact you can be in the soul human state here on Earth and how powerful a state that is in the physical as well. So at some point in the future, that will be demonstrated. So there's a lot of goals and plans, if you like, that God has as a part of this reincarnation process, um, which will come to pass and which will come to be known by you and many others in time. And the key, the key is to understand that obviously it's a lot more than just the physics that I've actually described. Described, yeah. And so, are the others teaching as well? No, or each one of they, them. Th there's some that are. Um, like some of you have met Cornelius, yes. <laughs> so you can see that he's still got emotions to work through from the first century, in particular, like all of us have. And he's, but he's also began doing some teaching as well. Others have taught on and off, but at this point, many of them are still going through some really hard emotions with regard to identity. So the majority of the 14 have some really big struggles about personal identity and the fragmentation of an identity of being a person growing up in this body, which is totally different from the body that I had for nearly 2,000 years. 
And it's, there are some pretty large psychological, if you like, impacts of that, which many of them are still working through emotionally. So the majority of them are not teaching, and some of them are not even conscious of who they are. In fact, there's a couple who aren't. There are some who are conscious of who they are, but are, rigid, rigid, are totally desirous of not working through any emotion whatsoever at this point, because they know that when they begin the process that they won't be able to stop it. And they also know that it's going to be quite a traumatic process. And so many of, the one, many of those are not, not doing that. And then some of the others of the 14 have done it for a period of time until they got together with their soulmate. And then, because their desire for God still hasn't been developed fully, in, again, because of their injuries with God, some anger with God uh, that they feel because of the reincarnation process and so forth, and they have not chosen to continue developing their relationship with God. They will in time, but at the moment, they're not. So every one of the 14 is in a different condition. And, uh, and I'm trying to help every one of the 14 as best, as best I can. But obviously it's very dependent upon their free will. But in time, more and more, and obviously when I become a one again, there will be a very strong soul connection <coughs> uh, with me in that condition, because that's the condition that I've remembered me in for most of my life. And so that will cause a lot of attractions to change as well. Any other questions?